guys, it's Gamron here, and if you've been following my channel for a little bit, you'll know that I have done two logo rankings in two different leagues. Uh, quick plug, uh, there were the NL NLL and the USL, please go watch them. And like, subscribe, comment, uh, put your rankings in the comments below. But today, I'm branching out and doing something a little different. Apologies, my house is being renovated. <laughs> so, this is a logo review of the Wolfsburg logo from the Bundesliga in Germany. So top tier. Uh, there's some exciting players like, um, like uh, I was going to say Jakob Blaskowski, but he left. So yeah, they're they're on the up and up. They probably have like the second best Belgian goalie in the world. So they also have a pretty nice logo. So, I will be going through the design, the colors, and the evolution, and then I'll give my final verdict at the end. Let's get into it. So, here are the colors, and this is basically just the color scheme. So, the Wolves' colors, that's their nickname, their colors are white, and the hex, if you, like, you want to use the same color, is hex, uh, F, 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 six Fs. And the green is 65B32E. That is from Color Scheme. That's number one. That, number one. Their color scheme comes by chance as they came into existence in post war Germany when there was very little money. Still hasn't ended World War I. Look it up. Uh, that's from the Bundesliga website, as is the final. Yep. The white comes from the first shorts worn by the club which were donated bedsheets from the people of Wolfsburg. So this is from a quiz. It's like the first bit of color besides the hex numbers. So yeah, they don't have, it's not very like, none like, oh, Bayern Munich have the Bavarian flag in their logo. Oh, it's not well known. And also the Wikipedia page does not have a section for logos or colors. They have that for like, the Cleveland Cavaliers, or Bayern Munich, or Borussia Dortmund, or, I don't know, Man City. But not for Wolfsburg, because maybe because they're a smaller team. But the green but the green comes from a young, local youth welfare worker. I don't know what that means. Uh, Bernward Elberskirk, correct me if I'm wrong on that one in the comments down below, uh, who found 10 green tops on a hunt for football shirts to use. Now... Uh, I'm not sure how he went with the goalie. Could have probably worn whatever. Goalies ba basically just wear when whatever. And also subs. So, yeah, that's also from the Bundesliga website. The design of the Wolves' logo is very simple. Uh, if we're going to just skip back to this. It's the outside is a thinning circle with the thickest part around here. As it slowly thins out, thins out more on this side because the thickest part's here. So it thins out more on that side. But it goes from thickest at the bottom to non-existent at the top. The center, and it's also green. The center of the logo is a W, which is also green. In earlier logos, the tops of the W were used as castle ramparts, as the length of the W is uneven between the three things, which are length. I put lengths, but I don't actually know what that is. Uh, they're also unevenly long, and I forgot to mention the background is white or transparent. If this is the, it's, the photo is transparent. The background is white. Here we have the evolution of the logo. So you can see what I meant here. The slants. So the W is still always very long. But they kind of did away. I do like that they did away with the roundel. I didn't actually put that in my final verdict, good and bad. But I do like how they got rid of the roundel. Um, this lasted from 1949 to 1965. This lasted until 2002. This lasted it's being in use today. So, yeah, the co so they have the slants now. Instead of the castle ramparts, they have the slants. Uh, they have an uneven thinning circle. And they've gotten rid of the words VFL Wolfsburg. My final verdict is I don't really like the ramparts. I didn't know what they were doing there, except the fact that they were trying to get some symbol symbolism. Which kind of was like, oh, it's a castle. Like, we're tough. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good and a bad point. The color scheme is very nice. I love the green. 
Green and white, just very simple, classic and perfect for Germany. Is there like, they don't go like more outrageous. Um, well, this is kind of soccer. They don't go more outrageous, but Germany is very like, very classic, very sort of calming. It's And they don't have to do too much. Like, see teams putting so much symbolism. They don't need to do much. They just need to put like subtle hints to where they have. So, but the last bad point I have is that they don't incorporate Wolf, the nickname, or cars, Volkswagen, because they are sponsored by Volkswagen, and it's the name of their stadium, if I, Volkswagen Arena, if I, I'm probably not, but they are, it, Wolf, Volkswagen is from Wolfsburg, so, yeah. So, overall for this logo, and this is only the current logo, not these two, Although I do factor them in, even if it's not new, because this is in 2002. So, overall, the verdict is going to be 7.25 out of 10 for the Wolves' logo. Uh, if you don't, if you think that it's a 10 or if it's a 1, leave that. Leave your opinion in the comments below. I will love to hear you. Just express yourself and show you. And also, if you can give some reasoning. And show them, just give me reasoning. Like, I do not like. So, bit of background. Uh, I support Blues in the AFL. You won't know who they are, but unless you're from Australia. But I don't, but I really like Essendon's logo. Like, everyone likes Essendon's logo, but Carlton hate Essendon. And I also like Collingwood's logo. They have good logos. So, logos are kind of the thing. It, logos in. Uh, uniforms are kind of the thing that transcends rivalries. They, they always they look good. Like I can say as a Colton fan, well, this isn't my opinion. I could say say if I was a St Kilda fan, I didn't like the St Kilda logo, but I liked Essendon's. So yeah, this is like one of those things that's not very biased. Well, it is biased because you like your logo, but you don't hate anyone else's logo. You just hate the association with the logo. So, leave your opinions in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and watch previous videos, including my other two logo rankings. And as always, see you in a bit.